y'all it's ginger welcome back to my channel so i have a bundle from maniology and this is the deja vu bundle so let's open it up and see what's inside i love these little bundle kits they come with pretty much everything you need just to get started um, and do a fun stamping design so it usually is a polish a stamping plate and a stamper stamper scraper combo and that is what we have here and it comes in this cute little bag you guys i love these little bags they're so cute totally reuse them and there's always some little sticker too oh look at how cute it's a little snail snailed it i love the stickers very cute so let's see what we have let's start with a stamping plate we have maniology it's m392 and Oh my goodness, it's adorable. I almost dropped it. Um, let's turn my flash off so we can see it better. Look at the little stars. I love little images like this. These are so great to layer stamps. Like you put this down first as a background image and then you can put something over it. Very fun. Deja vu. Very cute. Look at these. So Halloween is just around the corner and Maniology has a ton of Halloween stamping plates. So something for everyone for sure. So there is the stamping plate. Here is a polish. Let's check this out, see what we got. Ooh, so it's almost like a metallic black. Ooh, that's fun. I'm gonna turn my flash back on. Look at that. And it is called Batty. How fun. Ooh, that'll be gorgeous for bats. And we have an ice cube stamper. Let's see. They're usually um, fun themed uh, little stampers. Get my handy dandy little box cutter out here and that my husband has used a few times so it's losing its sharpness. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's purple, yay. Oh my goodness. That's adorable. So it comes with your scraper card. Look at how cute that is. And your stamper. I love their stampers. They pick up so well. So it has the same little image like the little scraper card has on it. So cute. And this little image is also on the stamping plate. It's a nice crystal clear ice cube stamper. So you can see your placement perfectly. I love these. Um, so let's peel off this blue film here and swatch the stamping polish. We'll swatch it on the lid and maybe I'll put a couple of little images on my nails here. I love the bat images, they're so cute. You guys know the little um, the little meme where the little girl goes, it's freaking bats, I love Halloween. <laughs> That's my favorite. Look, 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 they're so cute, I love them. So I'm gonna grab a paper towel. Sorry, my chair is really squeaky, you guys, if you hear that in the background. And let's let's do the freaking bats. They're so cute. And the only thing you need, the only thing you need to clean your stamper is a lint roller. I love these. You can get these from Amazon. Twinkle Tea has them all over the place but it's got a nice little lid on it you got your your sticky lint roller in there and you clean off your stamper you don't need to wipe it with acetone or anything like that so let's stamp these bats Ooh, this polish is beautiful man that would be pretty on some toes perfect little pickup So, obviously it looks amazing over white and not so much over black because it is a black polish, so that's to be expected. But it does have a really cool metallic like sheen to it, so it's gonna have a really fun effect. Look at how cute the little bats are. Okay, so I ran, polished my nails as fast as I could <laughs> so I could stamp a little design. Um, the color that I put on is this gorgeous cat eye. It is called Kisses um, from Coco and Claire. And it's like a gorgeous orangey red. I kind of played with like pulling it different ways and like to the center. So just really quick, not a great polish job, but 
wanted to play and do a little design, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I want to do the really cool star image as a background and then stamp some bats over it. So I'm gonna do that in white and then the bats in black and see what that looks like. I think it's gonna be really fun. And of course, I'm gonna use the new black batty for the bats. They're so cute. See if I can get in frame here. And ta-da! And it'll all come together when we top coat. So I think I also want to do a couple other images. So I like this one right here. I'm gonna do it in white and then take out the little witch in the middle. And then I'm going to do a black bat instead. I'm gonna put that on my ring finger. So I'm gonna pick up the image and then I'm gonna take the corner of my card and I'm just going to dot out the piece that I don't want. Sometimes I'll use my nail. And then I definitely wanna keep the little moon. My nails are a little bit small, so I think I'm gonna just go down a bit like that. Hopefully that'll transfer. And then do like a second. There we go. Ta -da! And then I'll just put the bat right in that area. And I'm gonna use maybe this guy, this guy. Which one do I want? There's so many cute ones on here. Okay, I'm gonna do one of these little guys like I did on the thumb. Again, I'm just gonna take off the spots I don't want. The little scraper card is perfect for that. Okay, I'm gonna put him on kind of like upside down, I think. He's so cute. <laughs> and there he is, hanging out. And then over here, I'm gonna do the bat, bat to the bone guy. Pick him up. Again, you can use the scraper or the lint roller to take off your unwanted pieces, but you gotta be careful with the lint roller because sometimes it'll grab your whole image. Okay, I'm gonna put him up a little higher. And then in the white, I'm going to pick up the words, bat to the bone, so cute. This is a really fun little plate. Just taking off my unwanted pieces here. And then I'm gonna place that right there. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. So, top coat. I think it's a whole like, the image really comes together with the top coat. It really just kind of melts everything together and you really get a feel for the look. Look at how cute. So the black stamping polish shows up very well over this like orangey red. Um, the lighter your polish, the better it's going to show up for sure, but it does work really good. It's a really nice metallic-y black. 
and I'm just gonna finish top coating these and then I'm going to cure and I'll come back to you. Okay, once your top coat is on, if you're using gel, you can take a little bit of acetone and then just completely wipe over, clean up all that extra stamping. If you're using regular polish for your design, then of course you're gonna wanna take a clean up brush and be a little bit more careful not to wipe it on the nail. So I'm just gonna get these cleaned up clean up my mess here and show you the finished look. All right, you guys, there is my finished look. How cute is that? Of course, I put some cuticle oil on and it is adorable. I love this little image right here, bat to the bone. So cute, the little bats, I love it. So this is the Deja Vu bundle. The link for it is in the description box if you guys wanna go grab one for yourself and I have a discount code to save you some moolah. So make sure you apply that, it's also in the description box. Go check all that out, go check out Maniology and see all the cute little things you can get for Halloween. Thank you so much to Maniology for sending me this cute little bundle. It was so fun to play with and I can't wait to show my clients, they're gonna love it. And if you wanna check out all the manicure that I do using all these fun products, then check me out on Instagram at Ginger Sparks, also linked in the description box. So you can check me out on Instagram and check out all the cool fun manicures that I do there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.